I think one of the biggest concerns that we have is that we've been having a continued gap in Medicaid in each consecutive budget. We really need to start addressing the fact that, specifically for the people that I lobby for, individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, Medicaid is their lifeline. Medicaid provides both their health benefits to them so that they can get to see a primary care physician. It also, in our state, through a Medicaid waiver program, provides long-term supports. These two things in conjunction are what keeps individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities out of our state institutions. So when we're looking at a very big gap in our Medicaid budget, we have been urging, and the ARC in North Carolina actually drafted a letter to both the leadership in the House and the Senate, as well as to the governor, that you have got to prioritize this gap and you need to find ways to shore up this gap so that we don't have families going into crisis all over our state. 